Hello, I'm Fables and welcome to another episode of Pampered Pope in Europa Universalis 4. Um, so we are preparing for an attack against the Austria, Austrians, Austrian fools. And that'll, that'll be our next goal. Probably to take, hmm, we could maybe take like this land over here and then split them up. Or we could just go for these lands, these, these provinces over here. But I do think we will keep on um, fabricating some claims on them and like in Freik's, Freik, Freikraskraft, French Comte in France. Uh, so yeah, this is the one we will um, fabricate on and then then we'll see. We'll, we shall see how, how this is going to go. Maybe we'll soon to go. We will take our Barrow. Could be good good idea to do, do that. And Sweden wants us to fight. Uh, sure, I don't mind helping you out, though I'm not going to actually do anything here in this war. Sweden, you hear me? I'm not going to fight. I can be a moral kind of support, you know. I can be your coast buddy, your imagine, imaginary friend in this war, if it makes you feel better. Oh, there's some constables we can build, so let's build them. Huh, interesting. Sure. Oh, a general with 50 tradition, although I'm pretty sure we have a way better better tradition. Let's see who we, we shall kick out. He's not bad though, he's not bad at all. Like one, well I guess, well, he has enough, about the same amount of pips, but shock isn't that more, isn't, it isn't more valuable anymore, because the cannons do more fire damage and the fire damage of in infantry is so equal now. It is only like what 0 0.05 difference between fire and shock so I think I'd much rather have a balanced balanced number of shock and fire and you do have three maneuver and two siege hmm uh, all of the other ones are better so but well yet yeah let's just kick him kick him out he's not that good Rebel reinforcements well well let's take a look at this um, we could gain a a ton of mercantilism, and how is our mercantilism looking right now? I think it's pretty huge, like 29%. Um, two of our most trusted advisors, Marzio Sustania, Sust Sustiniani and Jaffre de Pacci, have been talking a lot recently, plotting, some say, drafting plans for the Papal State's future, others say. Whatever they are discussing, discuss, discussing, it's clearly controversial enough to warrant some sec, sec, secrecy. Finally, they approach Pope Johannes the 25th to present the results. The thick stack of papers contains plans for monumental changes to the nation's trade practices including increased protectionism, re regulation and industrial policy. Radi radical, so some would say. Necessary, Mario Sustiani says. Profit profitable, says Jaffre de Pachi. What does Johannes 25th say about this? Hmm. Yes, um, I see. Well, I think this is a good one. Radical to simple minds, perhaps, but not to the Pope. Let's do it. We can even pump it back up if we want to, but let's not. There's no need to do it right now. If we run into an admin point issue, then we might do it, but for now it's fine. It's fine, fine, fine. And we are at the gap of military points, so... Hmm. Can we build some more of these? We can build one more. But it's not going to really, it's not going to, oh, and we can, 
do the war war taxes again. Can't we? Yes, we can. Let's do them. Let's do war taxes. And that will get us through for a while. And we can build the regimental camps next. Well, there is six, uh, 76 manpower. Um, what's here? And 20. No, not really worth it. Um, hardly worth it. Just hardly. Well, that's 66. Let's take 66. And there is 76. Order. Issue the order. What? What was it? The order 66. I think that's the one in the Star Wars that Pal Chancellor Palpatine used. And then the clone army attacked the Jedi's in the what was it? What was the Return of the Sith? Was it the third movie? Hmm. There is the Phantom Menace, Menace, and then there is the. Oh, now we can attack Austria. Good. Let's do it. Um, you are allowed with lots of people that do not matter. Prussia won't come into aid. Portugal will. Sweden, no. Um, how strong is Austria? I know they are not strong enough to really beat us, but I should still take a look at it. They have only 53,000 peoples. So let's let's march. Let's march to the borders of Austria. And then we can just swoop in and take their stuff. This army is still building, so we can use it afterwards. Move in, men. Imperial imperialism against Winland. And now I ah right and that this one too. Let's pump up the let's pump that up that maintenance. And then we can after it's set full we can declare the war. And we can put on some generals on these these armies as well. Since we have them. Let's have the best general over here. You are probably the no, you are actually the best one, so let's have you here. And who is you? Who are you? You are five, three, four, five, four, three. You are six, four, four. So you are better. Hmm. You are. You're this one. I oh, know you're this one. Let's have you there, and you can be led by this one. All right then. And let's send a fabric, uh, diplomat to fabricate a claim while we are at war on Kärnten. And let's send that one. Why not? And the text, we are so close to, again to the limit. It's May. Well, let's take it then. Hmm. And there is some... Oh, why did we go up here? Let's go back to Europe. So what did we gain? Some some of these and I guess it was this one. Right. A new cannon. And let's one more let let's have the month tick by and then declare the war. On oh, what 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 Oh screw you Screw you Austria have you taken no, but you still suck. You have taken that stupid idea. You you idiot. I hate you so much. Shitty Austria. Increased coring cost. Diplomatic Defense Act. You stink. Imperialism. War goal is to take the capital province of Austria. 75% uh, aggressive expansion. 100% Prestige, 75% diplomatic power, and 75 cost for everything. I think it's a better... I think it is a better... It is a better CB, so let's use the... Let's use the... This one. Come in. 
Come in, my friends. Let's move in. Let's move into the Austrian lands. And let's start sieging stuff down. Hmm. We are here now, Austria. Are you ready? Ready to be beaten? The Pope is the Pope has come. You hear me, Austria? Huh. Well let's improve relations with you and with you. Yep, only sixty improved relations, so we might as well. Hmm. The Constitution. Something to think about. And we have siege down this one. Let's go upwards. Cleansing the heresy against Great Britain. Alright then. There they are, the Austrian troops are up there. Fighting this and that. Well, that's fine. I'll leave it to Portugal to fight, or fight if they want to. Other than that, I think we'll just stay here and siege stuff. And how is our new army forming up? And we have some boats over here too. Let's send you off to Genoa, I guess. Is all of my boats in Genoa? I think they are. You are protecting trade in Genoa. Yes. Good, good. You do that. I trust. I put my faith in you. My trust in you. I trust you'll do fine. Danzig had. Sweden has won and they have taken Danzig. Alright. And that kind of smells like Russia versus Sweden pretty soon. Hmm. That's going to be sad. Grain has been taken. Let's go to Wien. Actually, let's stay here then. If Portugal wants to go and stay your mark, then that's fine. And how is our army forming up? They are almost done. And they are moving somewhere. And they are probably trying to come beat this army, aren't they? Sneaky bastards. Hmm, they are. And we do not have a thing over here. Let's take a look. There's mountains in Abruzzi. And you are building a cannon. Let's not build it over there. Let's build it over here. And I guess we do need to send some reinforcements down that way. Mm, with the forge march, hopefully. You are so too far. You're just too far away. No leader. You go siege that one. Or that one. And I'll send half of you... To help out, help out over here. I guess that's where you are trying to go, isn't it? Sneaky. Haha. -ha. Not so sneaky anymore, are you? Stupid, stupid peoples. I was sneakier. What? What? Why? 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 Wait! 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 What is going on? Did I really order that many cannons to be built? Oh, yes, I guess, I suppose. Well, let's... No, oh well, that's fine. It's fine then. We have one Groblenden. Which march do we in? That's Woods. We could go and kill these ones. Hmm. Maybe we should go and fight this army. When this one falls, we will go and fight it. Hmm. Yep. Fall. Fall, you silly one. Alright. Spain no longer embargoes us. Well, let's move in here. 
and spank these people up like that and let's split you can go there you need another leader and you can go to Linz and how is this one going it's that's going fine although I suppose we could just split you up and that would be better maybe yep I think that's better So our new army is forming up. Let's send it back to here. And we can take the new tech and a new idea group. So what should we take? I don't really want economics. I don't want expansion either. Innovative, yeah. Administrative could be nice some core and cost things but what we really need is kind of do we really need more money either I mean money could be good it could help us with building all these buildings faster so we could go with trade ideas but we cannot take military one right now I think yep we cannot take because 50% of our ideas are military so we have to take either admin or diplo idea so maybe we will go with trade ideas then mm, I don't really want diplomatic ideas it's just not that useful anymore and espionage espionage sucks trade ideas, trade ideas are just about the only idea in the trade in the diplomatic idea that's good well maritime and influence and diplomatic are also good and exploration if you do colonizing maritime is good for um, light ships which we do have uh, many but um, trade ideas give us force limit too and whatnot we don't have any vassals so that's unfortunate now well, let's go with trade then trade's a good idea a good idea group, I suppose. And that means that we are going to need more Diplo points. Hmm. All of this is going fine. These itches are going fine. How much do you have? You do have two siege, siege values, so that's good. Look at that, Portugal has a 641. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, Russia is fighting against Austria too. Well, go Russia. You fight them. I leave it to you. Well done. Recall that diplomat. But yeah, because Sweden took Danzig, I'm kind of smelling a fight between Russia and Sweden in the near future and I'm not sure whom we are going to side with probably with endings the one who calls us into the war first probably yeah sure uh, one general has died sad times sad times let's recruit a one four four two not bad at all not really um too great but not really bad either so and we could get a general up here too. So let's do that. Let's send a general up there. Not that he has any siege value, but just in case we need him. Hmm. So Goros has fallen. Let's send this army to Steyermark. Rattle has fallen. Let's go to Heinat. Hennigo. Henegal, Henigo. Naha, Switzerland is going to fight Austria now too. Huh. Alright then, that's fine. But yeah, it seems like everyone's beating up on Austria. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Beat up on Austria. It's time for them to go. Luxembourg, we have one. This is actually easier than the war with France, for some reason much easier 
No mission. Uh, we could take this one. That's not going to happen. Yeah, sure. Let's take that one. We will. Oh, 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 oh! Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! That's unacceptable. Unaccept acceptable. Go. Hopefully, we can reinforce. Oh, we actually won it. Well then. Um, they reinforcing the army that needs a bit more reinforcement. I suppose we should send them to Wien and the other one to Östmark. Hmm. They did catch me off guard there for a moment. Another general that has just died. Sad times. Let's. Oh, oh, four, four, six, two, two. Awesome. Really good general there. Really, really good general, I must say. And he died from here. Well, let's split this one up and take the leader. And send him back there. And let's take the merchant. That should make be... That should really... Um, I think it's it, the trade ideas are really good especially since we <clears throat> are fighting in Europe mostly and we don't have any like colonies that we can use to gain merchants like if we have a ton of um, trade power in these nodes and make a trade company we could get a extra merchant that way or or if we had awesome big colonies over here then that would give us extra merchants too so that's one way to get merchants but since we don't really have either then the trade ideas are pretty much the only way to get more merchants that and we have lots of trade power in few nodes so having more merchants is really good for us because now we can start pushing this trade into the direction we want it to go which is actually to Venice so we can push out 1.7 ducats out from here and we probably the next merchant we get is going to go in Wien and that'll be great and also who knows who knows what's the next one going to be hmm but I do have to take a break here so thank you for watching if you like the episode then please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel it really help out a lot and I would appreciate it a ton um, yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.